Hey guys, so today I want to talk to you about Oakley's. And these are um, most of my glasses, but I originally had some M frames and the M1, I, now they're the M2. And I have a few leftover lenses in that box, but um, they're kind of old and um, I stopped using those years ago. And the first Oakley glasses that I upgraded to and got custom were these Oakley radars, the original radars. Super lightweight. They don't fall down the bridge of your nose, fall down your face at all. I customized it with the gold Oakley icon with uh, those were like, originally they were a, a, like a dark brown, um, the ear socks. And these, now these are some newer lenses. These are actually the Oakley Trail prism lenses. And then um, I bought these, when you buy custom, you get to pick different lenses. And what I ended up doing was getting some clear lenses. And then over the years, and you could see they kind of got worn down. I had, these were the, like I had the V28, or I think, and then these were the um, bronze type uh, um, HD, I forget what they called those lenses back then, but they're, those were the, those were like the dark brown bronze color. And these, I think these are, are the V28 or the V, I don't know, they had different names back then. And don't quote me on that. I'm not a historian on Oakley glasses. I just have a lot. Then I got these just recently, but I wanted to get them while they they still could be gotten. These were called the radar locks. And if you notice that this, the size didn't change too much from the size of this lens to the size of the original radars. Didn't change too much. But what they made it easier to do through the radar lock was was to um, open these up and put new lenses in. And then when you get custom, you get this nice little custom bag that comes with it. You get to choose. I chose the, um, I think that's the icon that's called gunmetal color. It's like a shiny gunmetal color. I got the gray socks. I've got this little print design. Um, you can get changing um, different things with it. My focus is kind of out. And comes in a fancy box like that it says custom they even give you a little card in there as if you got a gift it says welcome to the community and and kind of cool then i just recently picked these up because i wanted a new the try out these lenses but i'm going to send these back because this is the radar i mean not the radar this is called the plasma and this plasma has the um trail torch prism lenses. Oh, uh, by the way, this lens is called the um, field prism made for baseball and, and, and sports like that where it's really bright. So I wanted something that was for brighter conditions. And the other lens that I got with that was, and you customize and choose what lenses, and I have all kinds, kinds of lenses, as you can tell. You choose, and this is called the um, prism polarized tungsten lens so they have a tungsten color and this is this is just comes with a set lens and that's the plasma but the plasma was kind of like a newer version of the um original um radar um racing jackets so these are the racing jackets or sometimes they called it the um the, the jawbone well the new jawbones are different but it had that jawbone design where this is a pivot that goes down. You pick, and when you customize this, you pick, like you said, you pick the icon, you pick the socks, you pick the color of the lower part of the, the, the jawbone. And then, um, and then that's, you know, how you get, and you get a couple pairs of lenses with it. And then you get the fancier, the fancier uh, custom type of, um, you know, you know, um, I guess it's like a little bag that the glasses go in or the lenses go in. And this one, I um, ended up getting some new lenses from Revant because I wanted these lenses. Oakley doesn't even offer these lenses. They're a transition, but they transition from like an orangey color to uh, a gray color and get darker as it, it gets brighter. So you like that orange kind of color for the hazy, you know, foggy days. 
and um, and then it'll get darker if it gets sunny, which is kind of cool. But I have the other lenses in here. I have um, the G30 lenses, which G30 was kind of looks exactly like the um, the the Prism trail lenses. Uh, it looks very similar to me, but that's what they have. And then I have the yellow lenses. Yellow lenses are ideal for when it's raining and you won't see the water spots. And you can also use yellow lenses at night. And so you'll be able to see with yellow lenses and I come to that fancy case. Then I got these and these are called the uh, photochromic um, field jackets. And I don't know if you could see that written there, but here's the plasma. That's what those are called, the plasma. And you can see the different order number. These field jackets have this advanced ear feature, and this advanced ear feature was brought out with a, a radar glass. Uh, there's a radar EV with the advancer. So when you push down on that, it actually pushes your glasses away from your head because it pushes that nose piece back, and it helps you vent out the the um, you know the air, and so your lenses don't get fogged up. And these are photochromic so they go from you know clear to gray and so you can um, which is nice when you transition from a day ride to a night ride it'll actually go all the way to clear for you for the night ride and I just used those not last night for a night ride and then here's the latest one that I just got and then I'm going to be returning the other plasmas and I got these plasmas and the reason I'm going to stick with these is because I have so many variances of of trail lenses, different types of trail prism and, and everything like that, that I wanted something that was a little bit different. And this is called the prism sapphire lens. So it's made for brighter conditions. And then look at that really cool icon that's like that blue. And you know how I like the blue anno of my bikes and stuff like that. So that's got the blue anno Oakley. So there we go. Those are the Oakleys. And I just want to do a quick video and show you the different Oakley glasses. Do you need to get Oakley glasses when you're a cyclist and mountain biker? Um, you know, honestly, probably the best thing for mountain biking is the goggles, but I just don't like how goggles fog up and I don't like how goggles kind of um, make you sweat more. So I like glasses, but I do wear goggles too. And you've seen some of my videos where I'm wearing goggles, but for road cycling and gravel cycling, Definitely glasses are the way to go. And, and just Oakley has been doing it longer and better, puts more R&D into it. And they have some really cool styles and they're great. I ordered these Oakleys directly from them, most of them, or, you know, for a while I was getting them from my bike shop and they give me a little bit of a discount, but I've ordered from them directly. When I had any problems, I get them on the phone or I'd email them and they actually sent me discount codes uh, to help you know make me like them better more I guess and I got discounts on some of these glasses so take a look at Oakley's if that's what you're into and get yourself a pair um, just you don't have to I would say stay away from ordering a bunch of different lenses for the same glasses um, like I did in the beginning like with these radars and with these um um, racing jackets where I ordered a bunch of different lenses it, it you know it, except for these ones these are really inexpensive but the radar the Oakley lenses are expensive so when you buy replacement lenses you're going to pay full pop and you're going to pay a lot of extra money you might as well just see if you can get the glasses complete with the lens you want and just buy a whole new pair of glasses that's my advice to you then you have another pair of glasses to to give to a friend when he's riding with you or you know, give away um, to your 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 kids or your family members and uh, that may not uh, ever think about getting Oka glasses. So there you go, guys. And thanks for watching. Please hit the subscribe button and the like button. And I really appreciate your comments and anything you want to ask me about Oka glasses and which ones I choose for my local rides and long rides and short rides and night rides. Feel free to ask me and I'll talk to you later.